have a barn burner here today, and we are set to go. Petey LaSala against Will Lynch. This is a big battle right here. Lynch actually got the better of LaSala in last year's game. But LaSala gets possession to Virginia to start. And he can shoot too, he does here. And Entenman bests him. They will keep Petey LaSala on after face-off wins with regularity. They'll play the five-on-five five game because he can shoot from the outside, but he all... And again, we're at this face-off dot. Picked up by Scott Bauer. Garth, you know Petey LaSalle as well as anybody. When you think about... I'm not saying he holds a grudge, but if he loses a face-off battle oh. in a game, it haunts him for a year. He's yep. been thinking about this game for a year since Lynch got the better of him last year. Even though Virginia was able to win that game, and it's the last time Notre Dame lost the game, by the way, exactly a year ago, you know, hasn't scored as many goals this year as he has in previous years. That's just his 13th goal, but he comes in sixth in the country in assists per game. He's making everybody else like Pat Cavanaugh on the other side better. It's an absolutely gorgeous dodge by Connor Schellenberger. The way that he set it up, the way that he used that pick Connors did there, which was so smart. Dodging north-south against a Notre Dame defense as a midfielder is virtually impossible. But he kind of went into that lower area and then came back to increase his angle. So Jeff Connor, a very, very smart fifth from up top, is a tall order against a Kevin Corrigan and Ryan Wellner defense. Connor picks up the loose ball. Gets it over to Sawstead. What you love about Jeff Connor. Right now he's clearing the ball, plays wings. He's gonna get a flag there. Now he comes down, shot for Notre Dame and a score, but let's see what the marker was all about. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna get a push on Jeff Connor. But I was talking about his versatility, one of the more versatile two-way middies in the country. You saw him score a goal, plays the wing on the face, can play defense, can clear the ball. That is a clear push in the back by Will Lynch, 30 seconds in. You don't wanna go man down against either of these two teams. They both are checked the one-timer down to his old teammate, since they're four years old, Peyton Cormier. New face-off man for Notre Dame, Colin Hagstrom taking the draw. Petey is able to pick it up initially. He did step out of bounds, though, so it'll go over to the Irish. Can the Irish start quickly here with a little bit of confusion on the field? Salah has come back with a vengeance in this battle with his face-off nemesis, Will Lynch. Six out of seven face-offs won by Petey LaSala today. He's feeling it. He's in a groove. So Notre Dame likes to 10-man ride, full-court press. Do it as well as any players in the country in terms of closing it out on the offensive end in front of the crease. You give them a sliver, they are automatic. Look at the ride from Chris Cavanaugh trying to get into Noon's head. Virginia does one thing. Q always says, do not try and clear the ball in front of the box. Virginia does That's a success why. for the Terps. But Virginia was daring Boyer to shoot. They were way more concerned with Cavanaugh, Cavanaugh, and Taylor, rightfully so, but he made him eat it. Hagstrom wins that draw. A lot of life now with the Irish. That goal broke a five. Oh. I think marinated with him earlier in the week in terms of his prep because of Ajax Zapatello at Maryland, what he did to him in that one-on-one -on -one matchup. That was all Zapatello. Schellenberger's too good. He's too competitive not to rebound. He's got four points already, and he's been the best player on the field. Big-time ground ball for Boyer. Face-off game is about the clamp. It's about how quick and how strong the face-off man is, but it's also about the wing play, and it's about picking up ground balls, and Boyer was brilliant on that. And Notre Dame's relentless ride pays dividends, 6-3. Hagstrom, holding his own.
against LaSala. Petey wins this draw. Notre Dame, not in a 10 man like Virginia has been. But Chris, if, if you turn on games from last week, Virginia, Maryland, this week, Virginia, Notre Dame, down at Charlottesville and South Bend, if you're thinking about the size of a lacrosse venue or the way that it should be built, tough time tracking a shot like that. If he goes sidearm and he doesn't use the turf there, Eneman probably gobbles that up. But how fast it came off the turf made Eneman guess a little bit. But I think Ricky, I've been saying this for the last few weeks, I'd like to see more of him. Mm -hmm. Banged up a little bit, missed the Hopkins game with a shake this draw against LaSalle. When quickness matches length, quickness wins if it's in space. If it's in the body, length wins. Will Donovan try to pick up that loose ball? Can't do it. Lynch gets it, though. In a lot of trouble, though. Runs out of it. And clears it himself. Irish wanted to get a slash, won't get it. Oh, backhand and Eneman can't track it. Genius. First start for Taylor today since injuring his ACL last summer. He's been getting more and more minutes, but finally got the start today. LaSalle lets it go out of bounds. 13.2 to go. Possession to Virginia. Schellenberger. Cormier. Great job defensively by Harris. Picked up by Boyer. And the horn sounds. Virginia can't get a shot off in the foul lit up like, all right, now we've got the support of the football team. We've got a standing room only crowd here at Arlotta today. The atmosphere belying how cruddy the weather is here. Beautiful atmosphere, terrible weather. You gotta love the offensive lineman, right? No shirts. Doesn't bother them. 38 this degrees, bomb, raining. Balmy spring day. Yeah, that's gonna give juice to the Irish. I mean, this football program traditionally for the last hundred years is different. Lynch battling with Petey. Petey gets the better of him on this draw. Lynch relentless though, won't give up. Soliday waits for number 33, Garno. He'll shoot. Ensman makes the save going in this game. It's been all Irish. Four in a row, not at seven. Big battle in the middle of the field, picked up by Jose. Boyer has been a vacuum in the middle of the field today for Notre Dame. And that's the wing play. You mentioned it, Chris, in the second quarter. That wasn't a clean face-off win for Notre Dame. It didn't matter because the... At exactly the 10-minute mark. Hagstrom now back to take the draw for Notre Dame. One by Petey. We got a game, partner. We got a game. We got an atmosphere. We got a game. We got one versus got three. Everything you could possibly want for the final 25 minutes of this contest. And goals per game, and he has three more. That pass was ridiculous. And the finish to the one-timer. That's another thing Xander Dixon does so beautifully. In and out of the cross in lightning quickness. Violation against Petey, that's a rarity. So Hagstrom headed seven apiece. Dixon's fifth hat trick this year. Yeah, the back cut, right? When you can back cut like that and you end up on that far pipe, you have no time to finish. And that's what Dixon does, man. Wow. Petey won the clamp, but he kicked it out of bounds trying to pick up the loose ball. So it's the other inside guy in Sandra Dixon. Two, four, and six for Schellenberger today. The lead is back to four. We'll get a flag here. We'll get a push in the back against Virginia. This one's going to go against Scott Bauer, the LSM. So now Notre Dame with an opportunity to counter in a man. On six, but there's always that 10 extra seconds to strike. Virginia has had success in runs today. A five-goal run in the first half, a four-goal here in the second. That run was just broken by the Irish. Look at that ground ball picked up by Kavanaugh. Will he take a shot? No. Pounds it back out. Outside of the face-off specialist, Will Lynch, the two best ground ball guys statistically on this team. Chris, who are they? 
Conby scores a lot of goals. That's his 17th on the year. He might not have an easier one than that. Lead back up to four. Final couple of minutes of this third quarter. from here against Petey. Again, the Irish are able to pick up the ground ball, but turn it over. That, was, that time it was Will Donovan. Did a nice job picking. Axtrum wins possession, gets it to Boyer, they can score again. Oh, tried to feed it to Tevlin. Right in front of the goal, too. That might have crossed up Nunes. Tevlin substituting on the faceoff because of the way they had to manipulate it for who? Jake Taylor, right? Because they're putting an extra pole on the face. Closed out the regular season, undefeated. The only team in Division One left undefeated. Yep. Petey LaSala wins the draw. Virginia on offense. Notre Dame football coach Marcus Freeman, good enough to join us here in the booth. Coach, good to see you. program coach what's your reaction to to most of Ricky Miazon the depth there of scores from the midfield makes you frightening look at that play by Tevlin steals the ball right out of the air it's there he won't get credit for the assist but it was the patience and, and how he lulled the defense and pride the, the Notre Dame defense to play him and shift so the backside would be open. Down to five. And here is where Petey is just so deadly, right? Makes a mistake on that pass after winning the faceoff. 